Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for watching today. Today is Monday the 18th, right? 18th. I had a double check there. Uh, uh, July is flying by halfway through the month already or past that. But today, quick topic today is whose schedule are you following? Every day, who is in charge of your schedule? Are you you look at your schedule in your phone or paper or uh, on, on the wall, where is your schedule? Because if you don't have your schedule and you don't have things written down, chances are you're letting other people, other things, life dictate your schedule every day. Or whenever you feel like doing if you don't have things written in your schedule, exact times, start time, end times, things working on, you're letting other things and people control your schedule. Now, we all as adults have things that we have to do. I mean, if you have children and they're under the age of a certain age and they're still in school and, uh, and uh, activities, yes, you're going to have things that you have to do in there. But to any successful person or agents, more often than none, they have, they control their schedule. And where I see, I know this happens to a lot of agents that don't succeed and get out of real estate is they can't manage their time. They just can't do it. It's a lot of people don't understand how to do it. If you are uh, never been self-employed before, full-time self-employed, and you've worked at other jobs, you, you know, you manage, you have someone else manage your time. You have to show up to work here and you don't get to leave work until here. And then what does everybody do usually after that? Then they start getting their uh, personal errands done and things done and picking up things and going places or picking up these kids from school. And then they let other people dictate their time. Now, the part-time agents, a lot of you and most of you should, I always say this to new agents, start slow. Don't give up your day job. Check out real estate. Have a few sales under your belt. Make sure you like it before you give up something else. So your schedule is extremely important when you only have a limited amount of time a day to do things. So you have a nine to five job, you get out at five. Now what, what's in your schedule? So if you want just your other job, put that in your schedule, other job, nine to five, we'll just say that. What's happening at five o'clock? Exactly what are you gonna do from the time five o'clock hits to the time you go to sleep? Organize that time of what you're gonna do, prospecting, calling, uh, taking a class, organizing your database, uh, door knocking, uh, uh, cold calling some for sale by owners expired. What are you going to be doing? And I think most agents, unfortunately, don't have those things in there. They just think they're going, just kind of like your job that if you have nine to five, you probably, unless you have a very, very specific job like that changes, you might have things in your schedule. But I know a lot of people, their daytime job, it's that they just go there and they have things that they have to do. And it's not in their personal schedule. It's not on their phone. It might be a work schedule at, uh, at, at their at their workstation or they go, they have a job that it just dictates, the day dictates what you have to do. But again, when you're on your time, your prospecting time, your real estate time, you have to control it or other things in life will control it. Your kids will control it. Your spouse will control it. Your, uh, the calls that come in will control it. If you have a transaction going on, the other agent or the title company, the mortgage company, the loan officer, the inspectors, they'll control your time. You tell people when you're available. Pretend like you're a doctor. Does your doctor ever pick up the phone? No. They have people that do that and schedule time for when you're going to talk to your doctor. I use that as a 
not the greatest example because we're not doctors, but our schedule should be that intense, like a doctor, one patient at a time. When you're in that patient, there's nothing that breaks that unless you're like an ER doctor. You, you're going to plan your day and you're going to follow it. And you're going to put it with productive income generating activities first. And if not, you're not going to find enough time to succeed in real estate unless you put it in there and it's in stone and you let everybody around you, your family, your friends, your spouse, your children, your whoever it is that might be dictating your time or uh, affecting your time saying, I have to do this. And it's so hard sometimes because you're self-employed. They think you can make changes and be flexible and the more flexible years is less productive you're going to ultimately productive you're going to be so something to think about today who is in control of your schedule every day do a little uh reflecting at the end of the day did i control my schedule or did i let other things control uh that and just letting the day go how let's see how the day goes that's letting the day and just events and things control your schedule that's ultimately not a good way to go so that's it have a wonderful Monday. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Bye-bye.